Hey everyone, how's it going? I have a challenge that I wanted to do. I wanted to use one banana throughout this whole shrine to beat it. And the rules are that I have to only use one banana at a time and I can only attach and move bananas. <laughs> so this run kind of is, it kind of uses a lot of recall tricks. This first one coming up, you kind of just recall the banana up after you attach it to the bridge. And coming up, we're going to use a recall trick again, but we have to move this giant car with the banana, of course. So we just kind of put this to the other side with Ultra Hand, and we can recall the banana while we're standing on it to get the platform to move across the lava lake. In the next area, there's a big lava lake we can recall over again, but I didn't want to do that this time just because, I, I don't know, felt like doing something different. That's the fun thing about Tears of the Kingdom. You can kind of just solve puzzles however you want. Uh, what I did was I attached a banana to an arrow and then that causes it to go up. But you can actually recall the banana after you shoot it. So it maintains all of the arrow's momentum. And you could use this trick in a lot of situations. Uh, it's really cool. Basically what you want to do is recall and then ultra hand before it goes up. And then you could attach it to anything. And then as long as the orientation of the banana is the same, as it was in the arrow, it won't fall off. But if it's not, if it's rotated differently, it will. So that's why you have to kind of recall it and catch it in the air. I don't know if that was confusing. It probably was a little bit confusing, but um, uh, yeah, we're just gonna take out this guy with a banana arrow, of course. <laughs> Can't not use bananas for that. And then we had this puzzle with the car and the balls. Now I haven't solved this normally, but what I think you're supposed to do is like attach all the balls together and like, hit the button somehow but uh we're gonna use another banana arrow but this time we're gonna go forward with it instead so we're gonna shoot it across the whole thing because as you notice you you can't get the car through on the bottom there's all of these different bars that prevent you from doing that so i want to take the car through and kind of solve it with the car instead because i think it it will be a lot easier and also we can only move the banana and can't attach anything else so i think this is the actually only way to do it uh, let me know if you see another way. But yeah, we're just going to do like the same recall trick that we did before. We have to get it in the right orientation so you see. Boom. We stop it there. It's the, the banana is like that the whole way through. It never rotates on the arrow. So now it won't detach from the car and the car will just kind of go over the bars. <laughs> And then we attach the banana to the car so we can rotate it. And then we can kind of just drop it to hit the button. And that is the whole shrine completed with one banana. Oh, and here are some outtakes. So this car, normally you can't break any parts off of it, but somehow I was able to completely destroy it by accident when I was doing some testing for this. <laughs> so that was cool. I solved it with one of the wheels at some point. And then another one, I somehow did like a magic trick and put the wheels through the bars. I don't exactly know how this happened, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a magician. <laughs> it's This was really fun to do. All right, thanks for watching.